We really would love to know what your plan is to help lower the cost of living. Yeah. I, first of all, thank you both for being here. And yours is a, a story I hear around the country as I travel. And um, in terms of both rightly having the right to have aspirations and dreams and ambitions for your family and working hard and finding that the American dream is for this generation and so many recently far more elusive than it's been. And we need to deal with that. And there are a number of ways. One is bringing down the cost of everyday necessities, including groceries. She has no response. Watching this clip, comparing to the debate, it should clearly tell you how long she took to practice. Yes. Really look at this video. This was a simple response. She can't answer. I was shocked, you know, looking at these videos. Just within the space of two, three hours, the kind of what salad have seen circulating on social media, mm, reasons they don't like her to be exposed to interviews. This is something that is scripted. Everything happening here with Oprah is scripted. All the questions, you know, but it's still difficult for her to give a real good response for people to be convinced to choose her. What is on your heart to say to the American people as we have 47 days um, until November 5th? What's on your heart? We, to say to particularly those people who are still uh, undecided or maybe indifferent or on the fence still? We love our country. I love our country. I know we all do. That's why everybody's here right now. We love our country. We, we take pride in the privilege of being American. And this is a moment where we can and must come together as Americans, understanding we have so much more in common than what separates us. Let's come together with the, the character that we are so proud of about who we are, which is we are an optimistic people. We are an optimistic people. Americans, by character, are people who have dreams and ambitions and aspirations. We believe in what is possible. We believe in what can be. And we believe in fighting for that. That's how, that's how we came into being. Because the people before us understood that one of the greatest expressions... Watching this video to this extent, I want to know how you feel. The kind of response she is given, mixing with this how what has been, has not been. Hmm. People want to know why they have to change their minds to cast a vote. Give them reasons. This history is not necessary. I really want to... Can somebody explain to me what she said on this video? I want you to know. Like I said, this is one of the primary reasons you see she is not really open for interviews. So this kind of weak point should not be exposed. People already know that is how she is. So at a certain point, mm, just get used to like that. Reading through newspapers today, I realized she is the only candidate that has run for president with this few number of interviews. It has never happened before. She cannot give reasons like policies. People should be convinced, you know, to choose her. She's not doing that here. The one who told me, remember, Chris and I ran into each other this summer. And Chris, no matter where you meet him, he's funny. He's go, he goes, there's going to be weeping in the streets. <laughs> Are we ready for the weeping in the streets when Kamala Harris becomes president of the United States of America? Weeping in the streets. What do you want to say, sir? Um, 
I, I, I've always been a, a fan of Kamala, even back when she was uh, running for, I, I remember writing her a check when she was like the district attorney for something. Maybe it was to get out of a parking ticket or something. But I've, I've been writing her checks for a long time. And I just want to, I want to bring my daughters to the White House to meet this black woman president. Uh, so glad to have all of you familiar faces and those of you who are not yet familiar to all of us. Okay, Brian, so happy to have you here tonight. Brian Cranston, what do you want to say? Why did you want to join us here tonight? I'm just smiling from ear to ear, Oprah. I have never felt this much joy and optimism in a campaign in a long time. So I, I'm just uh, so appreciative of Kamala to be able to bring back that sense of optimism and and to squash the cynicism and the and the and the vitriol and the rancor that that just seems to be floating all around Washington. There is hope for y'all. <laughs> District attorney, a wife and mamala to senator to vice president, please welcome Kamala Harris. Yes, I don't understand why Oprah is still pushing this narrative. This is a lie. It has been debunked. If you like such on Google, according to USA Today, they claim McDonald's said there is no record of Kamala Harris working there. And then they still continue to push it. Kamala campaign is full of BS. I don't get the point why they continue to spread lies like this recently. They had a Zoom call, it's still even going on, where a lot is being discussed. They have realized that Kamala can't get men, so the focus is on women. And when you look specifically at black men under 50 without college degrees, then support for Trump rises to more than one in four black men. Yes, Democrats have lost it. They cannot have men really supporting them. They cannot have it again. So the only best way is for them now to do things like what Oprah is doing here, trying to bring women together. And you know, they are focused, abortion, women's rights, you know, things like that. What I saw during that live stream, I think I'm going to do a full segment where you will see some real world salad, you know, coming from Kamala. Well, this is going to be a big, close race. Michigan yes. is always tight. We know we're feeling good, but we got to translate that feeling into action. And when it concerns things like border security, trying to strengthen the border, immigration, things like that, you will see how Kamala will freeze. At points like that, I understand she will always go back to when I was a prosecutor, I used to do this, I used to do that. That is what we have seen through all this. Now, the focus is to talk about women's rights. When I watch all the live stream throughout, this is their main thing. Even the way Kamala is responding to question is embarrassing, like seriously. Sometimes I don't even want to put videos partaken to her on this channel because I understand. What would be specific steps to strengthening the border? So it's a wonderful and important question. Um, I, you know, my background was as a prosecutor and I was also the elected attorney general for two terms of a border state. So this is not a theoretical um, issue for me. This is something I've actually worked on. Okay. I have prosecuted transnational criminal organizations for the trafficking of guns, drugs, and human beings. I take very seriously the importance of having a secure border and ensuring the safety of the American people.